Welcome to lecture number 54 of the series Unreal 5 for Arcways and in this lecture we'll work on some issues that we have with this foliage so let's get started. First of all let's improve the FPS for this viewport because after applying this grass and these trees you may have noticed some significant drop in FPS for this viewport okay. So let's first work on that. So to improve these FPS what I'll do is right now we are having about 17 to 16 frames per second from this angle. So to improve these FPS what I'll do is let's go into the European Hornbeam folder the tree pack folder and I'll go into geometry I'll select pivot painter and these are the trees that we use for this scene okay so what I'll do is I'll just select any of them and I'll open this material let's maximize the window I'll scroll down and I'll open this material let's scroll down again and I'll open this parent material okay and now what I'll do is I'll simply press and hold alt on my keyboard and I'll disconnect this node okay let's apply this change and let's close this window now as you can see that beforehand we had like uh, 17 to 18 frames per second and now we are having around 25 to 26 fps okay and of course it comes at a price now we'll no longer be able to see that windy animation or the movement of these trees because of wind okay so let's now work on the second problem we can see that after this threshold this grass looks different from what we have here okay this is actually a shadow problem so to resolve this problem what i'll do is in this console command i'll type in r dot ray tracing dot geometry and I'll select this one r dot ray tracing dot geometry dot instance static meshes dot culling okay and in the end I'll type in space and I'll type in zero and I'll press enter okay now you can see that we don't have those weird shadows in here okay in case if you want to undo this you can simply type in the same command r dot ray tracing And instead of typing in 0 in the end, you just need to type in 1. Okay. Now we can see those weird shadows. So to resolve this shadow problem, you need to type in r dot ray tracing dot geometry. This one. And you just need to type in space and type in 0. Okay and will no longer have those weird shadows but we can still see a problem in this area we can see that this grass looks completely different from what we have here we can see some empty patches okay so for this what you need to do is you need to make sure your nanite is disabled and you need to set your number of LODs to 1 so for that what I'll do is let's go into the mega scans folder I'll go into 3d plants I'll select this grass folder and I'll select these three static meshes and I'll disable nanite. I think it's already disabled. Uh, let's do it anyway. If you don't know what nanite is, don't worry. In the next lecture, I'll show you everything you need to know about nanite. For now, just follow along, okay? Yeah. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the number of LODs are set to 1, okay? So for that, I'll open this static mesh and let's scroll down and I'll set the number of LODs to 1 and I'll apply this change. In the coming lectures, I'll also show you what actually LODs are in case if you don't know anything about them. Okay. Let's now set the number of LODs for these two as well. For that, what I'll do is I'll simply copy this LOD setting. Okay. And I'll select these two and I'll paste that setting for these two as well. Okay. So now we have disabled the nanite and we have set the LODs as well, but we can still see a lot of empty patches. For this, what I'll do is I'll open this material and I'll search for opacity mask okay and I'll check this box and I'll bring down this value to 0 0.1 let's press enter and now as you can see that we don't have any sort of empty patches in our grass okay similarly if you are noticing some disappearance of the branches of these trees or any other foliage from a specific distance you just need to disable nanite and set the number of LODs to 1 okay 
But one thing you need to know is that disabling Nanite or setting the number of LODs to 1 can significantly drop your FPS. So what I prefer to do is, I prefer to enable Nanite or keep the LODs where they are. But right before I rendered the scene, I disable Nanite and I set the number of LODs to 1. Okay. So yes, that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture, we'll learn everything about Nanite. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.